Good evening everyone and welcome to session 7 of the online idea training series brought to you by Sama Audit Systems and Softwares Private Limited. In this session we will be looking at how idea users can collaborate with one another through the Caseware Cloud through the Cloud Share Access. Our learning objectives in today's session is first to study the process of creating an external project through IDEA on our computers. As all of us know, in IDEA you can create a managed project which is by default created in my documents under my IDEA documents or you can create an external project which can be created anywhere on your computer. The external project has certain intricacies which we are going to understand. One is that you can create an external project with individual sharing where it is meant for individual usage. You can also create it as a shared folder which can be used by multiple IDEA users but then that comes with certain limitations like we cannot see the project overview when we create an individual sharing folder. And you can also create an external drive on a shared drive within the entity domain. Now while most of these project folders, the managed project and external project, get created on the computer having idea. Caseware has launched a process called the Caseware Cloud, where users can store their project folders on the cloud and where you have multiple users within the team, they can collaborate with the folders on the cloud. So we're going to talk about collaboration, we're going to talk about seamless project management in a multi-user idea environment and we'll actually demonstrate to you on how the Caseware Cloud works. Now let's go to idea. We like to start off by creating an external project folder. So under projects we click on create and you notice you have an option for a managed project which creates a folder in my documents or you have an option for an external project. Now the moment I choose external project, click on the browse button let's say for the purpose of this demonstration I'm going to create a new folder on the desktop and I give the folder name as idea folder click on OK and now when you click on OK in the create project box you will notice that you get two options for shared usage and individual usage now you need to keep one thing in mind that an individual usage is good when every idea user within the audit team has an independent idea license and they are working independently on idea projects. If there is an event where certain projects need to be collaborated on where it's a group effort and where maybe there's a peer review system that I work on a project and my colleague vets the project and there needs to be a shared folder then you have an option for shared usage. The only important point you need to keep in mind that when you create a project with a shared usage, the project overview and library features are not available. And we're going to actually show, show that to you with an example. I'm actually going to create a shared usage folder, right? Let me import a sample file and run a test on that particular folder. So I'm going to be importing a file from my documents and my idea documents. This will be a sample import. I'm going to import the sample file and in that file let me import the detail sales folder. On this uh, uh, particular file, the detail sales file, uh, let me carry out let's say a gap detection on the invoice number and let me create a database. Now you'll notice that this operation which I've performed of a data import and a gap detection if I go to the project overview, you can see the project overview is disabled because this is a project folder created with shared usage. So this is one limitation which the shared usage folder has. Now with the project options being discussed on the local library of the user, we now have an option introduced by Caseware called the Cloud Share. The way the Cloud Share works is you simply click on Cloud Share under Caseware and that opens up a dialog box where you can actually enter the cloud credentials you can see that i have created a cloud share for uh, our company i have the user credentials uh, let me enter the password and login now you'll notice when you log into the cloud it's like a virtual project folder on a private cloud created by caseware right I am going to check my password once again okay 
And once you log in, you can see the Idea Cloud Share pane on the left and the right. The left hand side details the local drive project folder and the right hand side details the cloud project folder. Now you can actually see that using the button create project, I've actually created a project folder on the cloud. Now what I would like to do is I would like to move certain files from the local folder which is on my computer which could be either a managed project or an external project in fact external projects have been recently covered under a feature enhancement so you can move content from external projects to the cloud uh, i would like to let's say move this particular file gap detection to the cloud in the demo cloud project folder so that my colleagues who are sitting in another location who are doing an audit for the very same company for a different location can study the results. So I just select gap detection and I click here upload to cloud. Let me, let me just close this particular file with an idea so that there's no problem. Let me try it one more time. And you'll notice that the moment I do that, okay, in no time the gap detection file comes onto the demo cloud project here on the cloud. And I can do this for any number of files. I can actually do it for import definitions, for exported files, equations, macros, source files. It's a very, very seamless option to have data available across teams in a virtual space. The other advantage which we have is, let us say I have a file on the cloud. Now I have an equation saved on the cloud, which I would like downloaded to my machine and I can use it. Now this has been uploaded by a colleague of mine sitting in another location. I just need to select this equation and all I need to do is click on the download button and the equation would be available to me. So the cloud gives you seamless uh, collaboration with colleagues, right? You can actually store data in a very safe and secure manner on the case where private cloud. You can gain access to data uploaded by your colleagues. You can share a lot of important information with your colleagues. And if I were to go back to the slide and look at the learning objectives, once again, the largest benefit or the biggest benefit of cloud is collaboration across geographies and seamless project management in a multi-user idea environment. Once again, remember, the cloud access is available only to IDEA users who have the standard IDEA license. Okay, so you need to be a standard IDEA license user and then you can use the cloud. Uh, thank you very much for attending session 7 and we hope to bring you more uh, online training sessions in the days ahead. Thank you.